Well, hello, hello, General Hospital Daily Recap fans. Today's Daily Recap is for Friday, March the 29th, 2024. Friday, March the 29th. Uh, well, Sonny tells Carly, for all he knows, she and Jason are working together, right? For all I know, you know, and Ava's just standing right there. And Carly's looking at him like, wait, what? What was wrong with you? I thought Jason was dead until a day ago or a day or two ago. What? Huh? <laughs> you know? And so she's like, and why is she here? Because Ava's just standing there looking. And he goes, never mind her. Blah, blah, blah. And so Carly is being Carly, right? She's going all in on Sonny. All the years he has risked his life and taken bullets for you. And, blah, and this is what you do? She goes, uh-uh, I no, there should be no question as to Jason trying to kill you, Sonny. And Jason was the reason Dante stayed alive. What, Sonny? No, you know, he could have shot my son and then realized it, but then he didn't stay. He didn't stay. Oh, he just not thinking of anything. And Carly is just like, wow, right? So Jason goes up to Sonny's and Frank says, he goes, here to see Sonny. He goes, well, the boss had orders to not let anybody in, but I'm sure there's an exception for you. Good to see you. Frank's shaking his hand. Jason's shaking his hand. So Jason comes in. As Sonny's spouting off out the top of his, you know, off at Carly. And Jason slowly, calmly walks behind because he's walking. Carly don't know he's in the room yet. Walking behind as Sonny sees him. So Sonny's eyes are following him. And Carly's like, okay, who's, who's his eyes following, right? So Carly turns around and it's Jason. And she goes, what did he tell her? I think he said, look. You don't even need to hear this or, you know, be, have him talk to you like this. And she goes, no, no, no. He, no, Jason says, is this a bad time? Because I could come back later. She goes, no, this is the perfect time. This is the perfect time, Jason. Tell Sonny. So Jason tells him, I did not shoot Dante. <laughs> you know, he tells him. And so Sonny is, will you tell me where you've been for two years? You tell us where you've been for a year. See, it's not like people haven't lost time, right? But Jason actually tells him what, I, you start from the beginning. Sonny's talking to him like I'm, I'm the mob boss, right? I'm the, and Jason telling him, he goes, I've been working as a mercenary undercover for the, you've yeah, been working for the feds. How could you do that? And Carly looks like, wait, you've been working for who? <laughs> right? And she didn't know, right? And he said, but what, what did she go? She goes, I'm sure he has a good reason. <laughs> That's all she needs. She goes, I'm sure Jason has a very good reason why he's working for the feds. And Sonny's like, so he did everything but say, so you snitching? Let's see. That's another irrational comment. Because if Jason had have given Sonny up, I'm sorry, out of everybody out of all of Sonny's employees, who knows where all the bodies are buried? Jason. So I've been working with the feds for two years undercover. Ain't nobody come after you, Sonny? Nobody. Right? 
So that's telling you there. He didn't snitch on Sonny. No, does he plan on snitching on Sonny? Nor is Sonny obviously the target. And so Jason says, he goes, but you were up on top of that roof. He goes, yes, I was. Where, you know, a hit, a hit tried to go down on me and Jason said, and it missed. <laughs> right? And so he's just looking at him. Carly said, you wouldn't be standing here today if Jason hadn't intervened in it. My son got shot because, and so she go and, 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 uh, Jason, you know, explain, look, Dante chased me. I stopped, or he chased us. I stopped, the other guy didn't. I turn around, and the other guy shot Dante. And I don't even know if Jason said, I shot him. I don't even know if he said that. You know, because look, you don't say too much in front of Ava Jerome. You don't, right? And as they're talking, Carly is like, why is she here hearing all of this? Like, this is still Ava. And Ava's just standing there like, kind of cocked to the, you know, leg off a little bit to the side. Almost doing a Brooklyn in her own version, right? And Sunny says, she's here because I want her here. She is the only one I could trust right now. And Carly's like, wow. <laughs> you know, something is really wrong with you. <laughs> and Ava just stands there and looks. Yeah, right? She the only one you can... Whoa, right? And so Jason, what did he say? My son could die. Now, the, the killing thing, everybody, for me, is all this conversation when Jason walked through the door. Dante had already woken up. Olivia had already gotten the call. And Rocco and Danny wanted to go first. She wasn't going to let him. And they're like, look, we, we're we old enough. We could be there. Your father's wounds are so severe. He wouldn't want you to see him like that. And I'm thinking, I didn't see a blood spot on him. What you talking about, Olivia? Especially Danny. If you would have left and left those boys there, Danny would have beat you to the hospital. <laughs> Just how Danny rolls. He's got his Uber on speed down, right? Oh, Yuri. Yuri. But look, Yuri probably took Monica. Eh, Monica doesn't really use Yuri as a driver, right? But she's upset. Yuri may have taken her. So anyway, uh, she agreed because Lois says, uh, Liv, Liv, they're old enough. Let them go, right? Take them with you. So she goes, okay, you think so? Yes. So she takes him. And they're like, we'll just look through the window. That's all we can do. We'll just look through the window. So they go. Uh, Sam talks to Dante. Now see, she called Olivia. But that chick didn't call Sonny. And I don't understand that. I don't understand why his mother and his father who's been vigil by his bedside. Why Sonny was an afterthought. A complete afterthought. We're talking, Olivia got there, saw him. The boys got there, saw him. Anna, because while the boys were there, they're like, look, there was, an, there was, um, Rocco, because he they he sees him and he lets him see him, let him in. So they come to his Rocco comes to his bedside first and he hugs his father. And then Dante looks at Danny and says, Come on. So Danny comes over and Rocco said, There was a, 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 a trial today. And 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 you know, people all over the internet, they're they're talking about you the every day. And, and you know, and then there was the the trial today, and and Dante's like, trial. And Sam is looking like, oh, wait, you know, we don't know, you know, and, and we don't know what he's going to say. Because Sam told Jason she believes him, but she does it. And he goes, and when Dante wakes up, Dante will say it, right? But she didn't know what Dante would say, right? So she goes, boys, 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 let's not talk about that right now. No, and Olivia's like, no, 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 we're not going to, to 
Put that on your father right now. And he goes, dad said he's fine. And he goes, no, no, dads don't know everything. Let's leave the room. So Sam is, you know, talking to him, says, what can I do? See, here's the thing. Out of the first thing out of her mouth, I don't care that he's a cop. Did Jason shoot you? That's I would ask. Did Jay? But she goes, "What do you need?" He goes, "I need Anna." Sam goes. She calls Anna. Anna gets there. Sam was out with the boy. See, still nobody called Sonny. Sonny is doing all this spouting off. If my son dies, my son, my son. When his son is awake and talking, and nobody told the man that pissed me off. That pissed me off. So Anna gets in there and they, they do small talk because now she's giving him MVD, most valuable detective, blah, 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 whatever. And then she goes, Dante, I, I need to know. Did Jason Morgan shoot you? And Dante says, no. And now mind you from, you know, being ventilated, or, I mean, intubated. His throat's really sore and, and raspy. He goes, no. And he goes, he saved me. See? He's alive because of Jason, right? And Sam looks, because Sam already knew, right? And Anna said, thank you, my friend. And, you know, because she, Jason told her, Jason has never lied to anybody. Unless it's an undercover lie, you know. Unless he need to be somebody. Look, he lied to the FBI. Or, or no, he didn't lie to the FBI. He lied to Pikeman, you know, WSB. And the WSB, look, they're supposed to be a secret service organization. They can't do a simple background check. They can't check fingerprints. What is up with that? Okay. So anyway, um, Anna... Is happy about that. So Sonny's still being stupid and rational. D Jason goes, come on, Carly. Look, let's go. And so he's like pulling her back. And Sonny's like, yeah, that's right. Both of you, get out of my house. Get out of, can't trust the two of you. La, da, da, blah, 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 right? So they go to Bobby's and Jason is like, I really like, I really, really like the name and she goes elizabeth did the sign to pay tribute so they're sitting there they're drinking their beer you know they drink a beer and he tells her a little bit because she goes i know you can't tell me everything he goes i can't and see carly knows from being a mob boss's wife not to ask if they if, if he says i'm gonna tell you what i can he's gonna tell her what he can She's not going to try to dig deeper because she knows it could be a danger to her. Nina, on the other hand, well, what, what? If you love me, what? And then this, I never know. So tell me, you got to tell me. You have to press see. Mm -mm. Even Ava knows there's certain things you don't push and ask, but Ava would push more than, no, not really. They, Ava knows the mob boss lane. She does. She she knows when she something she can't know and whatever, right? So Sonny, Ava says, look, oh, oh boy, I can't believe those two. Yeah, and she's still putting a little seeds of doubt about those two, right? And Sonny's reeling, but yet she's looking at Sonny and she's thinking, hmm, he is unhinged right? And she's seeing it, but she's seeing it in a way of how can I take advantage of this, right? So she goes, look, why don't we do this? Why don't I pour us both a drink? And he goes, yeah. He goes, but hold on. You know, he goes, but I'll be back. Sonny goes, he didn't say, but he's going to get his meds. See, we're all thinking Sonny's not taking his meds, which is why he's being irrational. No, Sonny is irrational because who was always his stabilizer in his thinking? 
It had always been Jason. Sonny's always off of a deep end somewhere. And Jason would be the one. Hey, hey, let's get your head back in the game. Hey. Come on. I don't, well, you, you're not thinking right. You're not thinking, you know. He could get through to Sonny and readjust, right? Unless Sonny's off his meds. Okay, because then nobody can. His bipolar takes over. He hasn't had anyone telling him reason. Unfortunately, he never ele elevated Dex to that position. And Dex didn't deserve that yet. Dex hadn't proven himself to me enough that I'm going to listen to you or even be perceived as listening to you. Sonny may have made all the, the decisions, but he still listened to Jason's reasonings right Ava's the only one and right that's with him and right now what she's saying to him seems reasonable with the absence of anyone else Ava seems reasonable right and when they walked out he says I don't know why I ever loved Carly oh really Oh, it's down to that now, Sonny. But it's always been that way. When they're broken up, Carly has always been, he loves her as the mother of his kids and will protect her, but please, he'll talk to Carly any old way. And he goes, it's always been those two. Yeah. See, that's your jealousy there too. You saw your boy grabbing the back of, or holding the back of her arm and saying, no, uh-uh, let's go. We don't, you don't need to hear this. Come on. See, oh, oh. You couldn't say, stop what? Don't you, you know, only thing you can say is, yeah, get out of my house. Oh, that's all you could do. See, in your mind, they're going to go somewhere and they're going to sleep together. That's what you're going to think, Sonny. They're going to stay. Uh-huh. Because like Ava said, didn't waste no time in getting together when you were gone, liar. So anyway, Jason, she's Carly's talking about, you know, come stay with me. He goes, nope, I won't be doing that. <laughs> He's like, because see, people are still after me or people could be after me. Nope, you know. And so she goes, but you have no money. I'll get you money. He goes, Carly, I have no money right now this minute but tomorrow diane will get me access to my money <laughs> you know jason is a very very wealthy man right so she was like oh, oh okay yeah 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 you're right so they're standing there and as sunny when he told ava hold on or not hold on i'll be back and he goes to get his meds he gets a text message Olivia texts him with all these emojis. Dante's awake and he's talking and blah, 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 right? Ava, here's his phone. This chick goes and picks it up, reads it, and like, oh, no, this will ruin my plans for the night. But see, then again, you want to know where I fault Olivia? Why would you send a simple text to Sonny? Why would you do that? Sam didn't send you a simple text saying Dante's awake, heart, heart, emoji, emoji, celebrating, right? She called you. Sonny would have heard his phone ring. But the text chime, he was out the room. Ava takes that phone off the table and puts it up on the fireplace mantle. And so Sonny comes back in. She hands him his drink. She goes, I called the hospital to check in up on Dante and they told me he is awake. What? He goes, oh, my son's awake. Oh, my goodness. He's, he's happy. He goes, I got to get there. No, 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 Sonny, Sonny. They said, right now you can't. The doctor is with Dante. So they're not going to let you see him. Everybody, I've been by my son's bedside visually. I mean, visual, vigil, vigilantly, oh, good God, you know what I mean, vigilant, 
Lee. Yes, close as I'm gonna get. <laughs> right now, close as I'm getting. Um, do you think I'm going to stand and say, oh, because the doctor is examining him right now? The, uh, um, she says, they said wait till tomorrow. The, for one, they never would say wait till tomorrow. Okay. Do you think I would say, oh, okay, no, I'm getting in my car because the time it's going to take me to get from my penthouse to GH, that doctor's finished examining my son. Even if I have to look through the, even the boys had better sense. Even if we got to look at him through the window, we want to see him. That would have been sunny. That should have been sunny. Oh no, I got to see for myself. I got to see my son's eyes open. So then he asked uh, Ava a question. I forget what it was. And she goes, oh, I forgot to ask. You want me to call him back? Since when does Sonny not make his own phone calls? Because when she told him, Dante woke up. He goes, oh, my God, I'm, I got a call. I'm going to call. And she goes, oh, and he goes, where's my phone? And he's looking for his phone. And Ava's walking to him giving him his his drink she goes sonny you know calm down you know that's when she tells him oh listen you can't buy talk to him blah 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 and she's distracted me sitting down i still would have been looking for my phone because i'm a mob boss and i have an organization to run it will be ava look pick up your phone and dial my phone because I need to hear a buzz. Because it's around here somewhere. I have my phone. Right? But he just said, I can't, can't find my phone. Don't know where my phone is. That's cool. They sit down. They're talking. They have their drinking. You know what happens. What happens is what Ava was designing to happen. She wanted to see them vibes. If them vibes she'd been feeling were sunny. Are they there? See, because she didn't initiate the kiss. Oh, Sonny did. Sonny initiated it. He's acting out of anger. For Carly, jealousy for seeing Carly and Jason together. He's just acting out. You know, I feel that she betrayed me. Michael betrayed, you know. Ava and, and Nina betrayed me. I don't have Nina. Ava, the next best thing. She blonde. Right? <laughs> so he gives her a whopper kiss. She lets him. Right? He pulls back. They look at each other and he goes, Good night. And she's kind of like, Okay. Oh, okay. Because, see, in their entire relationship, Sonny has never kissed her. For kissing her. When she, him and, and Ava knocked boots there, right there over AJ's grave in the crib, there was no tenderness about that. As a matter of fact, when she walked in, there was anger. He's yelling and he's this and he's that. And they end up, it was anger sex for, for him, right? She's trying to do recon because she's the one that convinced him that shoot AJ, right? This is the first time he's touched her with tenderness and kissed her with some passion. And she had never felt that from Sonny Corinthos. Never. And look, Ava's not going to want to let that go. And I'm loving it. Let's, let's, let's let it go longer. Because Nina's going to walk in on them. She sure is. And I'm hoping Nina walks in on them like Carly walked in on Nina and Sonny on the boat, on the Haunted Star. I want Nina to walk in on Sonny and Ava. Man, that's going to be so good. That's going to be so doggone good. Right now, the next uh, uh, clarity moment was Brennan is being transferred from Pentonville in a van 
and he's saying to the guard, okay, it's always nice to get out of here, but like, what's, what's going on, right? So the guard stops the van, opens the door, opens the door where Brennan's at. Brennan's looking, Listen, it, look, it's probably happened before because Brennan wasn't like, hey, what's happening? You know, Brennan's just like, okay, all right, is this where we meeting this time, right? So somebody rushes in, hands the guard a wad of money, rolled up. The guard takes it. <laughs> Thank you. The guard is deaf. I didn't know that till later. I'm getting ready to start coughing. Y'all hang on for a second. So I'll put a trusty, dusty cough drop in right, right here. So anyway, um, Valentine hops into the the back of the van with, with Brennan to the next row of seats. And he's talking to him. Uh, Valentine is the one running Pikeman while Brennan is arrested. See how that's working? They're tying in Pikeman and WSB. They're finally bringing that storyline. I guess it took the new writers to figure out how are we going to now tie this all together? It's been elusive all this time. Now what are we going to do? Brennan was actually the one running it and the WSB. So that man was double dipping and had a lot of power, right? So they were talking about, you know, Sonny being the obstacle and this, that, and the other. And, and, and you know, he still needs to be taken out. And Valentin says, oh, I got a plan for that. And he's like, what's your plan? How do you plan on taking Carinthos out? He says, oh, I'm not, we're not taking him out. He says, then who's taking out Carinthos? We need those shipping lanes. He goes, he's going to take himself out. And Brendan looks at him because <laughs> Valentin told him, see, you know what? You got sloppy. Whatever his, I, I don't think his name is John, whatever his name is. Come in here. And then going after Carly Corinthos, he goes, I wasn't going after Carly Corinthos. I was distracted by her. Same thing. Come on now, Brennan. So anyway, here's the plan. And now this plot thickens. We all said Sonny ain't taking his, well, he might not be taking his meds. Oh, he's taking his meds. Now they're getting ready to not be his meds. Valentin says, we all know Sonny Corinthos is bipolar. And he takes medications to keep him stable. He says, I found out his supplier or the manufacturer, which doesn't make any sense. You know, maybe supplier. Because see, a manufacturer, yeah, I might manufacture a certain dose, but how am I going to ensure this certain dose gets to this, this patient? And, you know, so it must be, you know, the pharmacy that he gets it through. Because they're the only ones that could switch and put the wrong stuff in a bottle. So he goes, where he gets them from, we're cutting down this dose to half strength. It'll be half his meds and half placebo. So his symptoms are going to surface. Him being irrational, him being paranoid, him making mistakes. And he's going to make the mistakes that's going to land him in jail. And then we got the territory. See? Everybody think, oh, Miss Wu's doing it. It was never Miss Wu. Right? And I said, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ava is going to have a front row seat to him unraveling. And he is going to, with his irrational thinking, what? He's going to turn on her as she's right there. He's going to not be thinking himself because he already is not thinking right. He's emotional. And if it comes out, if if Jason said, if Carly says, you must be off your meds, or the only person that will be saved from being killed behind this is if Ava is the one that suspects something's wrong with his medication and tells him 
I think something's wrong, Sonny. Whenever he's starting to spiral out, he never wants to hear that he is spiraling out of control with his bipolar. He never wants to hear it. But if Ava says, Sonny, some, you, is, your, is your meds on the right dose? If she can, Cardi would be the one to say, something's up with your medication. Your doctor needs to recalibrate the, you know, Ava, we'll see. Can she be strong enough? Will she recognize that? She's the one messed up Morgan's because see, part of her won't want him to think she did that to him because that's her MO, messing with your bipolar medicine. She's in that house alone. Sonny would kill her if he irrationally, on an episode, thinks she did that. He would kill her. And then he would go to jail, to jail for killing Ava. Yikes. Yikes. But we already know Ava's character is a long-term character. I don't see them killing Ava off, but I don't know. I see Sonny seriously. They could have him seriously hurt her. Seriously. Put her in the, in the hospital and just, you know, she's a little bloody pulpy mess. <laughs> Yikes. All right. And then the medications will be analyzed and then, because it's going to come out that that's the wrong, that something's up. That is not his dose at all. So, but that's later after he's spiraled out and done all this damage and with no Michael to say, that's something's going on. You having a, you having a manic, you're in a manic state Dad. with no Carly saying you're in, you're in a manic state. See, with none of that, get ugly it's gonna get ugly see hmm. that was good and even Brennan told Valentine now that's diabol that's diabolical I like your thinking because see it's none the wiser and, and no attempts are being made on his life I mean that was some good thinking Valentine and then Brennan had to kind of do a little jab at Valentine, he goes, just when you got Anna Devane to love you, even though he doesn't really know Anna, Anna and Valentine ain't nowhere near together. He goes, now this, what do you think she think about you being the head of Pikeman? And he, Valentine looked at him and said, Anna Devane had better not find out anything and he called him by his first name, Brennan, because he, he kind of threatened him. Like, or do you the one here in Pentonville? <laughs> you know, like, I could arrange something, right? So anyway, the guard takes um, Brennan back. And, you know, anyway, that's that. But now this truly let us know what Valentine has been up to since Brennan has been in prison. He's been up to taking over. And Valentine was never as casually involved as he played. He was way more involved than casually involved. So, all right, comment corner, comment corner. I can't remember if I went. Oh, you know what? I went from the top down. This time I'm going to go from the bottom up with comment corner. I have to get my stopwatch. I'll start. All right, here we go. Denzel says... I, oh, I knew that. Is that what I, K, N? I knew that Jason was going to get bailed, get bailed out. Um, I was glad that he was out and that Jason and Carly hugged each other. <clears throat> the look on Drew's face, but hurt. <laughs> he was the one that um, dumped Carly for Nina, well, for Nina, to, and then put Nina in charge of the paper. I'm so over her at this point. Um, just file for divorce, the divorce paperwork, and just leave him for good. Not a Joss fan, but she had a point, um, what she told Christina about Jason, and put her in her place. Did Christina, did Christina forget Jason saved her several years ago from the cult? <clears throat> 
um shaking shaking my them my them head then annoying Josh telling Michael that Jason doesn't deserve Sonny's loyalty like Josh shut up Sonny is off his meds well not yet we found out today that's why he's acting and he's th not thinking clearly great review daily recaps so yeah he's not off his meds yet but you know what? He could be skipping a day or two. He does that sometimes. Lucy says, great recap <clears throat> of the happenings of old Port Charles. Thanks, Daily Recap Lady. Aisha says, Nina was all about uh, needling Carly as usual, seemingly unable to grasp that Carly has stopped engaging. She has. She just... <laughs> uh, Nina knew perfectly well that reinstating her at Christmas Crimson was all Drew's idea. And speaking of what she was going to undo, uh, was throwing shade uh, and belittling Carly's efforts um, and the contributions to the magazine. If Drew was hoping that Nina, hoping that the Nina aggravation factor would get to distract, wait, would get to distract Carly, too bad, <laughs> and shame on him. You dumped her, fired her, now leave her in peace. That's true. What happened to Drew trying to face, to force Carly and Nina to work together? Well, that was never going to happen, right? I think <clears throat> Carly called it right. Nina was at the courthouse to, house to score points with Sonny. Sorry, Nina, your mob wife's card uh, has been revoked. Uh, snitching to the feds and sharing uh, your husband's business around will do that. And then uh, Sharon says, Jason is protecting Carly. Oh, you know what? Jason told Sonny there's, you know, that there's leverage. The feds have leverage. And he goes, who are you protecting? Leverage, who are you protecting? And Jason said, myself. I believe that was a lie. I believe that's the first time Jason has actually lied. Because guess what? You don't tell the truth, the truth, the true truth with Ava Jerome in the room. It's not him. I think it's Carly. And he would he would not say in front of Ava, I am protecting Carly. He would not. He wouldn't. Or Sam, he would not. See, because Ava, you can't trust her more than you can throw her. So he said, myself. Okay, I'm protecting myself. I believe that. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Jason's protecting Carly, not Sonny. Remember the um, the meet with the five families. Um, I need a hand in Nixon Falls. I don't get that part, Sharon. Uh, Fall and Jason was shot and couldn't make that meeting. So it went to the meeting. Oh, Carly wants to go. Okay. Somebody had videotaped and is holding it over his head um, as if it was sunny. Nah, I don't know. <clears throat> and then Willie says, Ava is doing the same thing to Sonny's meds. <laughs> Um, and is still working with Pipeman, I think. And she's working. Nope, we found out today. Valentin is doing something with Sonny's match. Yep, he is having somebody do it. That's exactly what's happening. But I, it, Valentin made it like it's just starting. But you know what? Maybe it had already started. Maybe he had, they had already started replacing his meds because that would make sense. It just <clears throat> the conversation made it seem like they had just found it and his medicines are going to be replaced. But I, it seems like it, it has started, right? And then Joan says, um, I'm positive that Ava is working with Valentine and switching the meds. Nope, she's not. Remember, she did the same thing with Morgan. Yep, she sure did, but she's not working with Valentine. And then uh, Willie says, uh, date awake oh you mean Dante Dante awake on Friday Liz leaves Danny alone 
Leave Danny alone. He loves his father. Okay. I love your show. User EZ says. User EZ said both those things about Liz. Leave Danny alone. Thank you, User EZ. Annette says, Valentine, what a jerk. <clears throat> he is the pikeman now. And now he's going to mess with Sonny's meds. So Ava is in on this. She sure does want, doesn't want him to go to the hospital. Ava's just trying to make him more emotionally dependent on her. Ava's not in on switching those meds. She's not. I Because like they said, like Valentine said, no, they got to the source. Those meds are going to come already bottled. Re they are. Right? Dacia says, Joss is right by one thing. I hope Jason doesn't go back to work for Sonny anymore. Jason Morgan doesn't deserve Sonny's, deserve Sonny's loyalty. He, well, I don't like that, doesn't deserve Sonny's loyalty. No, Sonny doesn't deserve Jason. He shouldn't be working for Sonny anymore. Sonny's selfish and a hypocrite. He also shoots Dex. I didn't see Sonny shoot Dex. Sherry says, wouldn't it be a hoot if Jason and Dex end up both being cops? Um, and P.E. says to Sherry, Dex comes off as such a wimp. He sure does. I'm not sure how he made it through the military. A man can be in love and still do his job. And Sherry says to P. Merle, I think Dex is just a mild-mannered and thoughtful person. That doesn't mean he's a wimp. It doesn't mean he can't do his job. It, uh, it doesn't sound like he had much love growing up. Give him a break. Yeah, I don't know if he deserves a break, but okay. Linda says, Sonny is going to feel stupid when Jason explains. Nope, Sonny didn't listen. Jason would be a fool to go back to Sonny's organization because Sonny has no faith in Jason anymore. I'm pissed off at Sonny for believing foolery from Ava, which is another reason I'm thinking Valentine already had the meds changed or they already is in effect uh and ava is looking at him like huh he is thinking a little irrational dacia says nathan west you're right remember i said what was that name i was trying to figure out the name of of um Liesl's son i'm drawing a blank there <clears throat> nathan dacia says i hope that jason morgan quits working for sunny and fight uh anymore uh sunny doesn't deserve jason and then Bernice says, Sam also was thinking of Rocco, not wanting another parent to be placed, uh, not wanting another parent in some place think like that, thinking he's not going to wake up. That is true. Sean says, Nathan, thank you so much. And Aisha says, apparently Christina's time in the cult didn't start her thinking for herself or forming her own opinions. Uh, what's with Christina still... Sipping, uh, shipping Sunny and Nina. What does shipping Sunny and Nina mean? Or room form? Nina in uh, her tunnel vision, irritational, visioned, irrational, and borderline delusional outlook should not be encouraged. That's the thing. Um, anyone, that's the thing. That's the last thing anyone needs. How come Christina Bonley follows Sonny's lead on what to think and believe, but apparently not when it comes to romance, that is true. Uh, then again, Christina's encouragement leads Nina to barging in on Sonny and Ava. Let's hope so. Uh, depending on what Nina finds uh, would be some measure of public or poetic justice for the time Carly walked in on her yet. Her and Sonny and the Haunted Star. Uh, not just poetic justice, but um, symmetry too. What will Christina's connection to both scenarios? I don't know. And then I says, Christina is the reason Sonny and Carly didn't meet that night. Yep. And then Lisa says, I agree with you 100%. Would love, uh, would love that. And Christina would have sent Nina both times christina thinks she's right about everything yeah that would be great if that happened it really really would um and then i have um 
one other comment. Uh, Lakeisha, because I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to wrap things up. We're past 10 minutes. Um, Nikisha says, I like your channel. I've been watching since the start, but I wish you would get your, would get your sources. You'd get your sources better. You told us Molly was being recast. That was false. Um, you, you find us, or you must mean you told us Dante was leaving. He filled his last scenes. That was false. I know fans speculate and theorize, but as a reviewer, you say something as if it's fact, we believe you. Thank you so much for that comment, Nikisha, but let me set all y'all straight. <laughs> Everybody. I don't work for ABC. I don't have a secret line I could call and get any facts checked. Uh, I see Soap Hub and Soap Opera Digest just, just like all y'all, okay? And sometimes they do give out the wrong information. If I see it, I say it. But guess what, y'all? Don't mean it's fact. It doesn't. I Just like I give my projections on what I think is going to happen, what I wish is going to happen. That's just, this is entertainment. I don't work for the writers at General Hospital, nor am I a consultant. So, it be that way sometimes, right? Sometimes they will put stuff out there to get us all talking because who really would have cared if Dante would have gotten shot? We all would have thought, man, he's getting shot, he's going to survive, big deal. But when they did see it was put out on the internet, that he was leaving. They were able to, and I'm not saying ABC did this, but it was able to be crafted the old stuff when he left before as if it was new because he has left the show before. Okay. When I read stuff or I see stuff, especially from Soap Hub or Soap Opera Digest, I consider them to be as credible as who cares about soap opera credibility, <laughs> you know, because we're talking, these are soap operas. Um, and I will say it, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But guess what? It got us all caring about Dante's character, didn't it? It got us all speculating, how can they kill Sonny Corinthos' son? What? Why don't they recap? Why? Oh, they were loving it. It was all over the internet. The writers, the actor, all of that, they all laughing like, okay, look, they're going to be in for a good surprise. But they are watching right now because otherwise, who really cared about Dante? But we did when we thought he was going to die. So that's all I have to say. And I do want to let everybody know, please don't think and don't believe me. You're watching the soap opera like I am. And if you're not watching and you're only listening to my recaps, you know sometimes I'm making stuff up even though I'll laugh and say I just made that up. But if you keep listening and it doesn't come to pass, you'll hear me say, oh, well, look, they sure didn't, right? We all know they shoot two months in advance. When I said they were recasting Molly, that was on Soap Hub. Okay, now maybe the two months hasn't passed yet of Molly's character taping. Who knows and who cares? Does, how many of you are invested in any of these Mollies? Seriously. Once we got past the first one and I really was vested in the first actress who played Molly because she was Molly since she was a little girl. We grew up with that one actress playing Molly. All these other recasts after recasts after I could care less about that character. But some of you might love Molly or the character of Molly. And whatever recast they do is fine. So you really don't care if they recast her or not, right? So anyway, but no, thank you, Nikisha. That gave me an opportunity to let y'all know, look, I never come off as the authority. I'm just recapping what I want to recap on the soap. And I tell y'all most of the time, 
Look, I fast forwarded that scene. Good God. What happened? Did, did they really come back and show? Because look, I still don't remember when Docs, they showed a scene with Jocelyn and Dex. What? When they really talked? Because I fast forward a lot. I'm only going to recap what I care about recapping. So, and I'm keep on doing it. But anyway, uh, that comment did did make me think. Do people think my word is gospel? Because I do want to definitely set that straight. This is entertainment for me. I'm having fun. And I will not, I barely have enough time to get these recaps out. If I'm going to start trying to double check and fact check a source on something external that might say that happened, you'll never. I won't be doing the recaps because it would take too much time. But I subscribe to certain soap opera things that come up and I will glance, look, I don't look at all them, but I'll glance and say, oh, oh, they're looking for recasting on Molly. Oh, okay, wow. Oh, oh, wow. Dante's leaving, you know? That's all it is. And then we watch in suspense and we find out. Or at least I'm watching. I'm trying to see when's he going to die. And once they didn't die in the first week, I said, oh, he ain't dying. <laughs> so anyway y'all you know what i'll be back on monday with another recap of general hospital